John Horgan at Warrior Arena just before our 18th annual MDSC hockey game. And this man here, Jamie Hintlin, has skated in all 18, and he's joined by his son, James. First of all, James, how you doing, buddy? Hi, great. Excellent. Hey, excited to be you're an honorary Bruin for a day today, aren't you? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, good luck charm too, huh? Maybe the alumni, because we lost last year, can win this time. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jamie, talk about your experience with the uh, Massachusetts Down Syndrome Congress. Partner with the Boston Bruins alumni for 18 years. I've done all 18, so it's been a really, really good relationship here. But just talk a little bit about that. Well, it's been um, one of the most amazing partnerships that you can imagine. Uh, the Bruins, as you know, uh, rarely do a, a charity game a, a, you know, two years in a row for anybody. I don't think they ever do it for anybody two years in a row. Uh, they've done it 18 consecutive years. And um, when the calendar comes out every year, uh, we know that they, they, they put it on there and they, they have to turn alumni away, Bruins alumni away for this game. Yeah, it's a rite of passage in November just before Thanksgiving. We do do games in a row, but we've never done 18 years in a row. That is a record that will never be met. But uh, it's just all the folks that come from all walks of life that have family members um, that are involved with MDSC and they skate for charity and we're still recovering from the loss of last year. Oh, you guys are going to get it this year. Yeah, I know that we're gonna they're gonna stick it to us no matter what we do. So uh, yeah, that was that was a great win, um, and I can only imagine the humiliation. <laughs> so tell me about your specific role in MDSC. Um, we're a family that has been able to work with MDSC over the years, uh, and, and this particular event is really the capstone fundraising event of the year. Without this event, the program would not be able to do all the things that it does. Uh, the outreach to so many new families with uh, uh, babies with Down syndrome and and then the resources that are made available. I mean, this this event is, um, is, is, is critical to the existence of MDSC. And bear with me, the families within the family have become one big family, haven't they? They have indeed, they have indeed. So, uh, and, and we consider the Bruins part of that family. So every year we get together and it's, it's almost like friends coming out and throw you sticks in the middle of the, of the rink and, and divide them up, but they just happen to stick to their, to their colors. And you always have Maureen Gallagher, the executive director, and all the folks always have these cool, uh, I keep every single one. Uh, indeed, uh, I wear it with pride, James has one, actually he has several. <laughs> so. That's great. So I uh, hope you get a goal today. Thank you so much, Jamie Hintlian. And Bruin for a day, James Hintlian. Give us a win here, buddy. Yes. <laughs> All right. Ah. All right, John Horgan joined by honorary coach John Dunleavy. Johnny, welcome back. Thank you. Now, quite frankly, I'm kind of surprised that you're back because you lost last year. And around here, all they do is win. Yes, that's definitely true. We always win every single year. But you told me, or I told you to tell me, that it was because you were stuck with a bunch of old guys, correct? Yes. <laughs> yes, that's always what happens. That's, that's, that's what happens to you when you get old. That's what happens. And, and what, would, what would you say if I told you that once again you're stuck with a bunch of old guys? Well, I like old guys. I mean, I don't mind. I mean, if they're old or young, it doesn't really matter how old they are. It doesn't really matter. So how you been doing this year? I've been doing good this year. Um, I've been working with the Bruins for 10 years now. Uh, working with Bob is the best. Bob is a great guy to work with, especially the, the foundation. We just had a friend last week on Tuesday. He taste some old core last week. So, yeah. Great. So, Johnny, we're just moments away from your historical pep talk. The guys look forward to it every year. They hang on every word. And if they had listened to you last year, we would have won. Oh, yeah. Last year was not a great year for us, but this year we're going to play like, like a current player, like we did, they did last night, but we can, that's the way we're going to do it this year. So, yeah. Great. Coach John Dunleavy, you go get him, Tiger. Wow. Wow. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> John Horgan joined by Tom Sung, an honorary coach for the Boston Bruins alumni, all-time leading scorer with over 257,000 goals and almost 600 <laughs> assists. Don't forget captain either. Captain, that's right, captain of the Bruins. Uh, first of all, Bomber, welcome back. I know you're coming off uh, surgery, and I know you, man. Even though you get surgery every year, it seems, you're always managing to, to get onto the ice. Well, it's been tough this year. I mean, this, I, I've been hurting for about three months now. I uh, had terrible sciatic uh, nerve problem. Been in, the in and out of the hospital three times. Um, finally had the surgery. It's coming around, but uh, it's going to take a little while. But I'm okay. I and mean, we're glad you're here. Um, we got it is my favorite game. I, I love it. I love coaching. With, I love playing under the coach. I'm, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to play. But I'm going to be a, I'm going to be head coach today. No, no, I'm an assistant coach today. I'm yeah, sorry. John Dunleavy is, sorry, is sorry. he's the uh, also the GM today too. So everybody watch so your steps because he could fire you. Yeah, that's right. Um, okay, so we lost another one in the family we did. this week, and they're falling now. Um, what a great person, uh, commanded respect. Um, what was it? Six uh, consecutive 30 goal seasons with the Boston Bruins. Cherry loved him, did his job, goal scorer on the power play. Um, and he was a pretty good penalty killer, as I recall as well. Peter McNabb, uh, some memories he, he about Max. He could do it all, Johnny. I mean, he, uh, you know, he was great in the locker room, always with a smile. I mean, and I'm sure everybody has said that if you've talked to anybody. Always smiling, uh, you know. First guy in the locker room, last guy to leave, always doing a lot of extra work, you know. Uh, I, I'd see him, you know, working his butt off uh, down in the, the weight room afterwards and stuff. But, I mean, uh, shooting pucks afterwards. But, I mean, aside from his hockey, I mean, he's, he was even a better man. I mean, just a fantastic guy. Like I said, a smile continuously on his face. And, uh, you know, just, as you said, a class act. But he also had this dignity. And the word got around the league. Don't mess with him. I mean, guys like him, Nifty, Chief. You know, we, we have enough scrappers on the Bruins if you want to go. But, but let these guys do their job. They're not going to play the hackerama. Well, he had a, a pretty tough line. We have Terry O'Reilly and uh, Johnny Wensink. But, uh, you know, and that meant nothing to him. I tell you, he could handle himself when things got rough and, and he needed to take care of business. He was uh, right there. He stood up for, for his teammates and for himself any time it was uh, necessary. And, and he scored so many big goals over the year for the Bruins. Cherry, as I said, loved him. Even Cheesy loved him. Um, and then eventually we had to trade him. But uh, I want to go back to the night in Madison Square Garden. Um, uh, when you guys had to settle down some overserved season ticket holders, what are your recollections of that night? Because Maxie was in the stands, and you were trying to hold guys from going into the stands. <laughs> well, I went up there eventually, but I mean, Terry was the first one up. Oh, he went over there like uh, I don't even think he touched the boards. I mean, he was over there so fast. But Maxie was up there, and uh, and Mike Milbury uh, was up there quickly. I mean, we were all up there. Bobby Miller, who was another one we lost, unfortunately, another great man. But uh, Maxie, I mean, he was. Uh, I, I know he grabbed the guy. And the guy was screaming, "Don't, don't touch me! Don't hit me!" You know, I mean, Max is a big, strong kid, but but uh, well, he's, he's going to be really missed. Uh, did a great job with Colorado; they loved him there. And uh, you know, as I said, we're, we're all going to miss Maxie. Terrific, terrific guy. Yep. And anybody out there, if you can support uh, American Cancer Society, anything to do with cancer, please do so. It's a disease that we still don't uh, have our arms around yet. It's still out of control. So surprising, you know. I mean, all the things we can do, you know, and they, and they can't. Uh, I mean, they can't even stop my pain in my leg. I mean, never mind uh, stopping cancer. But I mean, I hope everybody realizes it, and you know, anybody that can help support anytime they can, uh, you know. But boy, we need it. Yeah. Tom Songen, honorary coach. Oops, honorary assistant coach to John Dunleavy for today's Boston Bruins alumni game. Come on in here, Coach now, Dunleavy. Now, now how long have we been together? We've been together a long time, haven't we? Yes, we have been together for a long time. Yes, and you know what? I've, I've never had a better coach. Don Cherry was my second favorite. You were my first. You know that? And oh. I'm, I mean that. There's no better guy. And what a, what a job you've done at, uh, at, at Reading High School, too. Winchester. Oh, Winchester. <laughs> I hear you go to Reading, Reading too, though. No, you beat Reading. Right? No, yeah, we beat Reading, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're at okay. Winchester, right? Yes, yeah. Winchester. What, what, what are your uh, titles there? Um, well, I, I, for the course, we won for the state, but football, not yet. Hockey, not yet. But it's coming. Everything's but coming. If right? it's going to come around next year. Yeah, yeah but yeah. hey, you got, you've done a great job there, and boy, you should, should be very proud of yourself. You're a great man. Yes. Also, it's a great cause for MDSC as well. It's always been a big part of my life as well, too. So, so please, please donate MDSC. 
And one, right on. And one last thing, Johnny. What a job you did down in Florida. Remarkable. I'm really, I mean, you should be so proud of yourself, huh? And, and that must have been a lot of fun. It was. It was we were all fun. I came in for fourth place as women um, in the summer. So We call it first place. You've always been first place with us, buddy. Thank wow. you. Love you, kid. Thank you. Yeah. Love Thank you. you. Thanks. John Dunleavy, Tommy Songin. Thanks, Johnny. Thank All right, we ready for the speech? Quiet now. Quiet. Here we go, coach. Get into it. Wait, Johnny. Okay, Johnny, go for it. Go. Guys, last year was a TV year. This year, you guys had to play like four class nine for the Bruins. They were six to one. Today, we're going to, we're going to win six to nine today. Let's go. Woo! Bobby, I didn't hear it. You didn't hear me.